Okay, this is a demonstration of interference patterns produced by two speakers. This signal generator is generating a tone that's at about 2,000 cycles per second, 2,000 hertz, and it's sending the same signal to both of these speakers. And if you're out in front of those two speakers, then what matters is the distance from you to one speaker compared with the distance from you to the other speaker. If those two distances are the same, then the sounds that are produced by these two speakers overlap and interfere constructively. They add together to form a louder sound. But as soon as you've moved a little bit in such a way that the wavelength, that, that the difference between the two paths, between one speaker to you and the other speaker to you is half a wavelength, then instead of the, the peaks and the valleys overlapping with each other, you get a peak where there's a valley in the sound and the sound cancels. That's called destructive interference. And so what we're going to do next is to use this microphone attached to this meter and move through the sound field um, and, and you'll be able to see with your eyes on the meter the level of the sound as well as hear the sound uh, picked up by this microphone that shows this um, constructive and destructive interference pattern. Okay, right now we are, we have this microphone that's picking up the sound from those two speakers. And we're right symmetrically located in the center between the two speakers. So what we'll do now is to move away from the center. And this readout here gives the loudness of the sound that's picked up by this microphone. And as we move through the interference pattern produced by these two speakers, you'll see, you'll be able to both hear the sound from this microphone, which will be louder, then softer, then louder again as we move through constructive interference to constructive uh, um, destructive interference. And then you'll also be able to see that these, um, that the readout will, will show that loud, soft pattern. So I'm going to be quiet now so that the microphone will just pick up the sound from the speakers. Okay, we went through about three or four different uh, minima and maxima, and hopefully you were able to hear that the sound is um, changing in, in loudness.